Hi everyone! Now it's been a while since I went on an epic rant on this channel, so just as a little heads up, that's what's about to happen. But before I get into said epic rant, I just want to make two things very clear. Number one, I love YouTube. Never leave me, YouTube. And number two, I have a good sense of humour. My shelves around my bedroom are full of box sets of sitcoms and stand-up comedy DVDs. For years, one of my favourite hobbies was travelling around the UK and visiting different comedy clubs and seeing a variety of different comedians. And I haven't got a little cutesy wootsy wrapped up in cotton wool sense of humour either. I can laugh at a lot of different things. In fact, in my family, one of our favourite phrases is Black humour. It's how we cope in the forces. Because yeah, we do enjoy dark humour in my family. We laugh at things that some people would say were quite close to the knuckle and sometimes I genuinely do think comedy is a really good way of exploring a difficult subject. Now that I've said all of that, it's very important that I also tell you that I think there are some things that just aren't funny. And every now and then I see something on YouTube that makes me go... I had a moment like that last week when somebody posted a prank video in a YouTube Facebook group. Now, prank videos seem to be all the rage on YouTube at the moment. You name the subject, someone's probably made a prank video about it. I pranked my brother into thinking he'd failed his exams. I pranked my sister into thinking her crush liked her back. I pranked my friend into thinking he'd gained 500 YouTube subscribers overnight. Wow, this is all so original and not at all kind of mean. Now, some pranks are genuinely funny. Think James Veach and his rubber ducks. That's really, really funny and clever. But on the whole, this whole I made someone think X, Y or Z that wasn't actually true prank leave me a bit cold. And that brings me to last week when somebody posted a prank video that made me feel a little bit cross. I pranked my best friend by pretending to come out as gay. <laughs> shared that video to a YouTube Facebook group had done so with the words maybe don't watch this if you're sensitive LOL <laughs> at this point in the video I would like to introduce you to a personal friend of mine Little Miss states the obvious Little Miss is there anything you'd like to say? Thanks Emma Yes it is depressing to be saying this in 2018 but Pretending to come out as gay as a joke is just not very funny. Thanks, little Miss States the Obvious. <laughs> now, I won't lie to you, it was the don't watch if you're sensitive lol comment that really, really wound me up. So I did the thing that you probably shouldn't do in these situations and I responded. I wasn't rude, I wasn't nasty, I just said something along the lines of, okay, I am a sensitive person and I'm probably not gonna watch your video but maybe it's a thought that perhaps pretending to come out as gay for a laugh is actually a bit immature and unpleasant especially considering that coming out is quite a big deal for gay people and maybe as a straight person you shouldn't be trivialising it. I received a reply just a few minutes later which somehow managed to both attack me for not watching the video they told me not to watch because I'm sensitive and also warning me not to watch the video because I'm sensitive. Okay. But what the person also said in response which really really knocked me was it's okay to joke about this now because being gay isn't bad anymore. Um, Little Miss states the obvious, could you help me out here? Saying that 
being gay is not bad anymore implies that there was a time when being gay was bad. And actually, being gay has never been bad. It's just people's lousy homophobic attitudes which have been historically bad and in many cases unfortunately still are. So, why I'm not finished. Oh, um, sorry, D did you have more obvious things you'd like to state? Saying it's not bad to be gay anymore ignores the fact that there are dozens of countries around the world where being gay is still illegal. It's also ignoring the fact that there are plenty of people out there who are prepared to use religious extremism or their own homophobic views to refuse goods or services to same-sex couples. So maybe, as a straight person, don't use the phrase, it's not bad to be gay anymore. Seriously, dude, check your freaking privilege. Of course, I said all of this to the person who posted the hilarious prank video in the first place and his response was to ignore literally everything I've said and just call me a crazy woman. And that's ableist and misogynistic. Yes it is, thank you very much little Miss Stacey Obvious. The sad thing about all of this is that I actually took the time to go to YouTube to see what people were commenting on this video and most of it was literally just Whoa dude, you pranked him so hard, this was so sick, funny. Well done on that. There was one person who commented and said, actually your friend reacted really well because your friend was just like, oh okay cool, well it doesn't change who you are and I still feel the same about you, it doesn't affect our friendship in any way, and that's exactly the right way to react. And if the point of the video had been like, well actually this started as a prank, but that's a really nice way of accepting me for who I am even though I'm actually not. Maybe I could have got on board, maybe I could have been like, do you know what, a good thing came out of a fairly stupid prank. But no, it was just a straight guy pretending to come out as a laugh because the reality of that situation will never affect him in a million years. Great! Hilarious! <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there will be members of the LGBTQ plus community who find that video hilarious and aren't bothered by it in the slightest. There are bigger things to get worried about, I'm aware of that. And also, yeah, I'm not suggesting for a second that we wrap everybody up in cotton wool and just never make jokes about anything ever again in case we offend someone. That's not what I'm about. But what I did feel when I saw this video, and particularly with the response the guy gave me when I questioned him on it, was actually maybe we should think a little bit more about some of the hilarious stuff we're posting on YouTube and whether it actually is funny. After all, if a joke is always at someone else's expense, is it a joke that's really worth making? Especially if the joke is kind of at the expense of a community you don't belong to. And on another point entirely, if we aren't capable of listening to criticism of our content, how are we ever going to improve as creators? You're not. You're literally never going to improve if that's your attitude. Thank you, little Miss Statesy Obvious. <sighs> Look, I feel better for having had a rant, but I really do feel quite passionately that when we put something out there on YouTube, A, it's not immune to criticism, and we do have to actually listen to people who say, hang on a minute, I don't like what you've done and this is why. And secondly, if we're trying to be funny, that's great. And comedy is brilliant, comedy is subjective. What I find funny, you might not. What you find funny, I might not. That's absolutely fine, but maybe we should genuinely think about what we're putting out there as a hilarious prank. Because if it is potentially hurting someone or making a community we're not part of the butt of the joke, is it really all that funny? I'm interested in your opinions on this, so please feel free to comment down below and we'll have a chat about it. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. You can click on my floaty head if you would like to subscribe and you can go and check out last Sunday's video over there. I've got a bit of a rage-induced migraine, so I'm gonna go and lie down in a dark room. Talk to you all next week. Bye!